Lawmakers will meet to start the 2024 legislative session tomorrow. It's a short session only lasting until March the 10th. Lawmakers need to be laser focused on their priorities. Already it's clear there are two things at the top of the list, housing and drug use. And Evan Watson's joining us now with a preview. Evan, good evening. Good evening, John. In their opening statements, Democrats and Republicans seemed pretty much aligned when it comes to their goals for the upcoming month. Governor Tina Kotek is pushing a major $500 million housing package, saying that that is an absolute must. Oregonians know the status quo is not working on housing production. We feel it every day in our communities. Governor Tina Kotek says her ambitious proposal to build middle income and affordable housing across the state is her top priority. The half billion dollar bill includes $200 million for infrastructure like sewers, roads and water lines plus more for the development itself, a new government office overseeing the program, and a one-time tool for some cities to expand their urban growth boundaries. We can do this. We can have a tool around urban growth boundary extensions that is targeted, that meets affordability goals, that protects our environment, and that is what is in this bill. Luckily for Kotech, Republicans like Senate Minority Leader Tim Knope recognize the need for fast-tracked housing development. Housing far and away is the biggest priority for Oregonians, and second to that is, in fact, doing something with the drug addiction crisis. Lawmakers may also decide on recriminalizing small amounts of drugs, changing Measure 110 to fight the state's addiction crisis. We have more people dying on the street. We have people in open-air drug markets. We need to get to a solution. Democrats say fighting community addiction means expanding treatment facilities and incentivizing workers through apprentice programs, higher pay, or other sources. On behavioral health and the addiction crisis, we all know that we need more access to treatment facilities um, and a more streamlined and coordinated system of care in Oregon. Um, and for that to happen, we need more facilities and we need a, a bigger workforce. Republican and Democrat leaders both mentioned harsher penalties for drug dealers accountability through the criminal justice system, but we also have to have that compassionate care. And I, I believe those are the two things that are going to drive the conversation for Measure 110. Kotech has been noncommittal on if she would approve recriminalization, but seemed open to it if it's packaged with other improvements. Recriminalization in, in, in isolation, I think it's missing the, the point. So my question is going to be like, if you make a change, legislature, and you're suggesting a change, what else are you going to do different to make sure we have better outcomes? As of now, leaders from both parties say talks have been collaborative and they're finding common ground. But Canope wouldn't completely rule out another Republican Senate walkout if Republicans feel things aren't going their way. I think uh, if people uh, believe that they need to take a, a principled stand on a certain issue, uh, I think that it is possible that there'll be walkouts in the future. Kotek says her big housing package could be funded by the state with money that's already been collected. The state's revenue forecast will be released on Wednesday, determining how much lawmakers have to work with this session. All right, Evan, thank you.